Hello and welcome to Teachings in Education, Diagnostic Assessments. So, why should you use diagnostic assessments in your classroom? Well, in any given classroom, not every student is going to be at the same level. Now, let's say it's your first day of school and you're getting a large group of sixth graders. Don't assume your students have the prerequisite skills necessary for your class. I mean, they could have slept through the entire fifth grade. This is where diagnostics come into play. Diagnostics help identify the student gaps that you're going to have to deal with to help guide your future instruction. Now, how do you incorporate diagnostic assessments into the classroom? Well, diagnostics should not be given too often. But when given, it should be starting a new unit or starting a new course. A diagnostic test isn't something you want to hold against a student either. They're not meant to be graded. Rather, just for the teacher's use, just for the teacher's reference. Now, at times, students may not give a full effort due to the fact that there is no grading, but you want to try to get accurate results the best you can. Here are some examples of diagnostic assessments. First up, textbook pre-course tests. Most classrooms have assigned textbooks and those te textbooks have diagnostics within them. Some texts allow for downloaded assessments. Overall, this is a good assessment if you're a teacher who likes to teach through a book. Next up, commercial diagnostics. Now, there are several different companies out there that provide test prep along with diagnostic assessments. The SAT prep companies come to mind first. See if your district would be willing to order a book. If they order the book, you can always make copies of it. Some examples of commercial diagnostics include Scholastic and Princeton Review, but you should look to your library before paying. Next up, Diagnostic Questionnaires. These are best when you're just looking to save some time. They're, they are very quick and students check off levels of interest and levels of understanding on various topics. Make this diagnostic anonymous for honest responses. Lastly, teacher designed assessments. Like anything else in life, it's probably best if you do it yourself. And that is the case here. You can create your own diagnostic. The downside to creating your own diagnostic is that it takes a lot of work, takes a lot of time. Teachers are already very busy and it can be time consuming. But right now I just want to say thank you for your time and please, please subscribe to this channel.